Lasers are attractive for missile defense because they can deliver energy at the speed of light. Lasers just hold a beam on a target long enough to deposit enough energy to weaken or destroy it. But you still need to deposit something like 10 to 100 kilojoules per square centimeter to guarantee burn through before the missile can maneuver. But here's the thing. Even if you have the power, physics tells us that light, including laser beams, spread. To keep that down to a 10 centimeter spot, tight enough to burn, you'd need wavelengths closer to one micron and apertures around the 120 meters range. Not only that, but a missile in boost phase is a moving, accelerating target. To hold a beam steady, your satellite has to use high precision adaptive tracking mirrors with pointing accuracy down to the micro radian scale. But the holy grail is phased array lasers. Phased array optics can steer and focus laser beams without giant moving mirrors. That could allow a large constellation of satellites to act as one giant synthetic aperture telescope. So in theory, physics says yes, a constellation of satellites armed with megawatt class lasers could engage missiles in their boost phase. Coverage could be global with satellites positioned in low earth orbit, ensuring at least one platform has line of sight to any launch. That's cutting edge physics and engineering, but theoretically achievable. 